Hi Scorpios, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your February 1st through to the 15th of 2018 reading. Thank you so much for stopping by. I usually start out with a card from the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue so that I have a word of prayer to close with when it comes to the end of the reading. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign and or rising sign of Scorpio. For the first two weeks of February. Okay. Thank you. Now I'm not going to look at that until the end, but what I am going to do is discuss the Celtic spread I have before me at this time. Now I've prayed over the cards, blessed them with my stones, etc., etc., and I'm just trying to move things along a little bit more quickly than I do. Because um, I got a lot of personal readings going on. All right, so. The energies I'm pulling in have to do with making the right decision in and or with a partnership of sorts. And however this applies in your life path, because I'm pulling a lot of different energies for this general reading, if you'd like me to do a personal reading of your personal energies, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. All right, so... Maybe at one point you guys had received a gift from someone, some flowers, something kind, and maybe it was someone that you had had a commitment with before or that you are in a commitment with. There is a lot of luck surrounding that connection in the next, oh, first, maybe a week and a half into February. And um, at some point, maybe towards the end of the second week of February, there may be travel in order to negotiate a few things in order to communicate with someone in order to meet with someone um i do feel however there is a little bit of a warning about repeating a path or going down a path that may be long and difficult so i'm going to go ahead and get started now the celtic spread i've already laid is with the psychic tarot oracle deck by john holland and i'm clarifying these messages via the Gilded Tarot deck. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Scorpio with clearly defined messages regarding the first two weeks of February 2016, love and romance, career and finance, 2018. Hmm. I wonder why I said 16. Did someone separate in 2016? Or what happened in 2016 okay because right off the bat here we have someone connecting with someone from their past so for whomever's energies I'm reading it may be or you have children with this person and some of you are wanting to continue to go down a path with this person but spirit is saying pay attention to any obstacles and challenges that appear to be blocking this path because that's their way of telling you that that's not the right direction for you okay when they do that it's because they're trying to bless you in a direction that is healthiest and best for all of mankind right so the card the card crossing that is the conflict and defeat card so the obstacles and challenges may feel or come through as energies of conflict and defeat so here we have someone's energies of thinking back to the past or contemplating situations regarding children running into obstacles and challenges that may cause energies of conflict and defeat as you're reaching out to connect with someone maybe at a distance some sort of message is coming through to you guys soon now in your mental aspects position we've got sacrifice so having to sacrifice muddy waters, things that slow you down, things that make you unhappy, and to go towards the rainbow in the sky, all right? With the Four of Pentacles, this is worries and concerns about money. Maybe some of you feel like you are sacrificing a lot of money on behalf of a difficult situation involving children and or someone from the past. Therefore, you're connecting out to others and you're going to be receiving messages back and there is going to be luck, okay, if someone's been waiting on, if this just, you know, makes sense to you. Now, in your foundation, 
we've got victory and success. So bringing an end to victory and success or watching something come to an end. So maybe someone thought that a connection was going to be very successful. Maybe somebody, um, now that you've connected with them, you start to see that they're kind of cut off emotionally or with their feelings, which means they may not open up with their life path, their money, their everything. In the recent past, you had found balance and contentment in your life and then something came in quickly, which I'm feeling like is some sort of recognition from someone in a gift or something that surprised you or that made you feel really good. And in the next couple, in the first week and a half to two weeks into February, something happens quickly. So I'm seeing something happen quickly in the past and then there was conflict and defeat and obstacles and challenges and children and now messages coming back through and you contemplating bringing something to an end with something that has to be sacrificed tied to victory and success of the past tied to someone who won't open up. So all this energy is coming in in the next week and a half or so and something's going to happen quickly where I think you guys are going to be blessed with a new direction. So the Ace of Swords is representing a brand new beginning that's very exciting because you haven't been down this path before, but it also has a double edge to it where we have to thereby cut away from people, places, situations, circumstances of the past. Now in the next four to six weeks, you guys have control over taking authority over this path regarding children, regarding someone from the past, regarding obstacles and challenges, conflict and defeat, regarding messages coming and going, or some kind of information you've received. Some of you may be receiving in the next week and a half or so an offer of love. Yeah. From a water sign or someone who has water in their chart, chart Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or this is you saying, you know what, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to observe and I'm going to pray and I'm going to listen to my intuition. Then I'm going to watch as something I know is going to come in. And I'm going to be able to get to the truth and start a new direction for myself. Therefore, I will take authority over my own path. Spirit is wanting to communicate with you that your solar plexus chakra is going to be wide open through the next first two weeks of uh, February. Because you are stepping in a new direction, because you're sacrificing unfulfillment in some way, whether it's finances or the energies of a person. Something came in and helped for you to get to the truth of the matter, and that truth is setting you free into a new path. Yeah, that truth, sword, just got handed to you, and you ended up carrying the queen of swords energies where you stand by your boundaries, you create a new path, and you cut those out of your path in a very fair and just manner who no longer belong in your path, who you're not going to... Well, who you it is that you're going to sacrifice, okay? Some of you are going to realize that maybe there's someone else in the picture who has air in their chart. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because this is general. Hopes and fears are speaking of the base chakra. This is passion. This is sensuality. This is excitement about a new direction, about going in the direction of victory and success hoping for this new beginning when it comes to whatever it is you are hoping that will fulfill you a new job a new love a new direction with your life in the outcome position we have heartache and loss well that comes with moving forward and sacrificing the old but if it's helping for you to grow and find happiness that's what this decision is about. Do I go around the same mountain of unfulfillment? Do I head down a path with a person that I think will lead me down a long and difficult process or lesson? Or do I move forward and meet new people and find new opportunities for myself? Some of you are feeling heartache and loss because of a person who was an authority more so I am feeling like this could have been connection to someone who had or has earth in their chart Virgo Taurus or Capricorn Sun Moon or rising male or female somebody's getting to the truth of a situation here whose ever energies these are so in the first week choose wisely don't allow yourself to get depressed and sad. Take control of your path and start planting new seeds. Be patient. Observe. Pray to spirit for clarity. 
What you reap, you will sow. So as you plant seeds to move ahead in your path in new directions, those new directions will grow for you. You can then move on from suffering and silence. And you, like a lot of other people in the next week and a half or so, are going to bring an end to something and transform, free yourself in some way. And right behind that is this positive movement forward because you guys are coming to the truth of a situation circumstances person place thing whatever it is and you're going to figure out what it is that balances your life path so that you can have positive movement to toward a beautiful new and bright beginning so in the outcome position there is or are new partnerships and alliances those of you who are going to reach out into new directions are going to triumph. And after much rest, you will realize the wisdom you have gained through this path that you've been on. Okay. In a three card summary to my left here with the same Gilded Tarot deck, Spirit saying in the first week, it's time to come to the realization that everything that has happened to you happened to make you a stronger person. Now you can allow for the swords and the memories of the past to dissipate and stand up acknowledging that you are much stronger now in your soul. See the angel in the form of the deer? They're there to help you stand up. They're here to help you realize that, yes, you've done a lot of work where you're at for a long period of time and now you're starting to gain cobwebs. It no longer fulfills you. It's time to lay down the struggle, the battle. So if you're thinking about ending a job, yes. If you were thinking about ending a particular path and starting in a new direction, yes. Here you are taking on the Queen of Pentacles energies. Owning your own business. Starting your own business. Taking care of others, giving and caring for those around you. Healing from a connection that came in slowly, again, with maybe what could have been a maybe a younger two air sign or earth sign i'm sorry virgo taurus or capricorn and spirit saying yes it is time to move away from troubled waters towards smoother waters some of you at first are feeling kind of stuck know that you have you know two weeks to really think about taking a trip meeting with others getting to know Getting to see things from outside your path. Sometimes it's nice to take a trip and spend a night somewhere and to just see the world and then look back at your path. Then you can free yourself from the self-restriction here because that's what the Eight of Swords represents. It's a figment of your imagination. Spirit's saying once you can get beyond feeling stuck in some way, you can jump into your chariot and start taking steps into this new exciting direction, knowing that with the chariot energies as a major arcana, you will succeed. Look at that, a new passionate, exciting path ahead by which there will be celebration, maybe even engagement by which you will start to receive a lot of attention and acknowledgement for a job well done. In the outcome position, yeah, there could be engagement in the next path you guys are heading into here. It could be that you've completed a long and difficult path. For some of you, maybe with a Virgo, and now it's time to move into a direction by which there is equal give and take with others. There's the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. And there you are, financially secure and spending maybe a little bit money, a money on yourself because you chose to leave the difficult memories and experiences in the past that no longer fulfill you and to step into a new beginning by which you can hopefully let go of these old frustrating thoughts and emotions. Somebody's trying to start a path I just saw where you're stepping right into heartache. So <clears throat> I'm really feeling like the first two weeks of February it's just very important to stop and you know <clears throat> reconsider your direction and who's around you and what you truly want. Nobody's needs to make a decision. Now, for clarification, real quick, I'm going to add the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. 
Yeah, so as you're observing these challenges, these changes could be with someone you had children with, could be with someone, a uh, situation involving someone from your past. The High Priestess of Water is being sent in to help guide you when it comes to your emotions. Instead of focusing on conflict and defeat, send messages out. Knowing that there are messages that are going to come back to you that are very playful and fun. Some of you might have already had some of these messages. Now, in your thoughts, someone may be a little bit closed off. And Spirit's saying it's bringing you down. You're going to have to sacrifice those energies. Even if you think it's a complicated situation, you have to do what's best for you first and foremost. Now in your foundation, there's victory and success, and yet you guys are bringing an end to a path of victory and success. Maybe that's what's making you feel trapped, but we are never trapped. We can always go and start over again, okay? Rebuild your life and make it into a journey. In the recent past, there was balance, Maybe getting knocked off because something was coming in or messages came in and then, you know, like you were doing well. Why? Because you brought a conclusion, a situation to a conclusion and then boom, all this stuff kind of came up and you felt trapped to a situation where there is no victory and success because there's complication. So you guys have control over taking authority over your path, over observing and praying to spirit and then listening to your intuition. And what is intuition trying to tell you through spiritual guidance here? They're saying it's time to let go. Go and be playful. Let go of that which seems difficult in your life at this time. Things are going to happen quickly in the next uh, week and a half. Sorry. And... Uh, this is going to bless you with a new direction, a new opportunity. Don't let your fears hold you back. Go check out this new direction they keep talking about. All right, so Spirit is saying it's in that new direction where you're going to be able to be clear with your boundaries, fair and just with others, but mostly be secure with your goals and uh, all the wonderful attention you're receiving because you're setting goals to do what? To find fulfillment in your life, in this new path, even if it's complicated. So... In your hopes and or fears, your base chakra is lit up with passion, sensuality, excitement. Because maybe you're allowing for yourself to move in a new direction. Maybe moving literally. Or just going on travel and connecting with someone. Letting go of heartache and loss tied to someone who was maybe very well off. Yeah, feeling like you're not seeing the entire puzzle. You're only being shown a small piece of a big puzzle. And Spirit's saying, don't forget what's happened in the past. You have the warrior energies to get to the truth of what fulfills you. And as you move forward, think about what kind of life you want, how far you've come. You're right at the beginning of your new path. You get to choose what comes in. You know, everything that's happened in our path happened for a reason. And it's because we brought it in. Consciously, subconsciously, or spiritually, we said yes and brought ourselves into this path and everything that came with that decision. So now it's time in the first couple weeks of February to summon in a new beginning and know that each decision you make is what will manifest the life ahead for you. So take some time to think about what kind of life you want to manifest ahead and then you can hope, wish, and pray for these great things to come in. Now... Earlier, I pulled a card from the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild. And the card you received is Devotion to the Small. I'm going to read from the book to give credit to the author. There is an innate wisdom within you that understands this devotion to the Earth Mother as an important step in fulfilling your spiritual destiny on this planet. She is speaking to you now letting you know that there is a small change happening, something that is growing within you that you may recognize but not think is so important, yet she tells you now that it is very significant. Soon you will see what you thought was a seed to yield a single flower is actually blossoming into a lush garden of manifestation. Gratitude and love for the small changes that are happening are leading you to the fulfillment that you can only dream of and joy. Mother Earth has 
gratitude for your presence within her being for the work you are doing to help other human beings. She asks for you to surrender any concern you have to her, to let her creative power continue to gently guide you into your rightful place in the world that ye, she may shine or that you may shine as you were born to do in service to the evolution of this planet. She's helping you now. Trust her. A flower is a poem that tells you the truth of a thought. Wow. So you guys get to manifest. Do I want to go around the mountain one more time or do I want to head in a new direction? I would say to at least give other directions an opportunity to open as a path in your path ahead. You know, in your path, many doors open. It's just about choosing the right one. And Spirit's always trying to guide us. And if we choose the wrong one, we'll learn a lesson and they'll continue to protect us. So communicate with Spirit. Ask for the direction toward fulfillment, knowing that the cards are here and wait to see the whole picture of the puzzle, not just one small piece. The word of prayer that I pulled for you is compassion. Come on. I see and feel others' point, points of view with forgiveness and kindness. And to close, I'm going to read from the book. Is it compassion? Yes. This card is an angel that comes to you to uplift the way you're seeing your current situation and the people in it, including yourself. As a sensitive person, you're affected by others' negativity, and this has recently darkened your emotions and thoughts. To bring more light into your world, see people's situations through the eyes of Mother Mary and the angels. Know that they and you yourself are doing their be the best that they can. Although we all make mistakes, ultimately everyone wants the same thing, peace and love. This card calls for you to be the peacekeeper in the situation and to make the first move towards a harmonious resolution. By sharing peace and love, you bring healing blessings to the situation and at the same time, you increase your own self-esteem. So however this or these messages have seemed to have applied to you, handle everything with compassion and kindness. Okay? I think that's all I have. Take some time to think about new partnerships and alliances because I believe there are great uh, beginnings ahead of you and I think a journey is involved when it comes to a meeting, a connection, a gathering, a get together of sorts uh, where you can finally make some headway into the Ace of Swords. And it's gonna come quickly, quicker than you expect. The answers you guys have been searching for. So know you have a lot of luck at this time. But that something will definitely have to be sacrificed. A person, a friend, a situation that just no longer fulfills you. So have fun with that. Thank you again for stopping by. Take care and God bless.